everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. I'm so excited today because I'm starting the soaps for my June release. And today I'm gonna to be making a soap using the fragrance oil Green Apple Explosion by Nature's Garden. And it's a really super bright, happy fragrance. Smells exactly like a Green Jolly Rancher. And I have used this fragrance before. It sticks really nicely in cold processed soap. But the design today I'm gonna to be showing you is uh, different. I have not made this design before and the inspiration kind of popped into my head when I was looking at color palettes for June. And so I wanted to go ahead and show you today how I'm making the embeds for this soap because I'm using melt and pour soap to make the embeds, but it does take up a large part of the design of the soap. So I wanted you to see that process and see how all of the embeds were made. And then we're gonna go into actual, the cold process soap making part of it and how it all goes together in a cohesive design. Now, I tried to make this soap two days ago and it was a massive failure, um, but I did learn a lot from that failure. So now today I'm gonna be bringing you the final draft and I will be sharing with you the recipe and the full written tutorial on my Patreon page. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you the embed portion first. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and create the rainbow rods that are gonna go along the length of this mold. And the way we do that is I'm gonna create a layered rainbow soap, a small um, layered rainbow soap. And then once I pull this out of the mold, I'm gonna slice uh, columns of rainbow. So I'm gonna show you how that's done now. We're ready to go ahead and pour the first layer of rainbow, which is going to be red. And I'm going to spritz the top with rubbing alcohol. And I'll bring you back for the next layer. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and pour the orange layer. Excuse the background noise. My kids do play the drums and we are all home on distance learning. So drums in the house is a way of life right now. I'll bring you right back for the yellow layer. And now the yellow layer. And I'll bring you right back for green. And now the green layer. You want to pour it when it's still warm on that layer you're pouring on top of, but that it's developed a thicker, a thick skin that's able to hold your next layer, but also still warm so the soap adheres and it doesn't, uh, the layers don't peel apart after it's cooled. And then you spray with rubbing alcohol. And I'll bring you back for blue. And now the blue layer. So, and you'll notice I'm also not staying in one spot for very long because I'm just trying to cool that blue soap down so it doesn't make any um, breakthroughs to the next layer. All right, and then we'll be back to that last layer. And the purple layer. Okay, while the rainbow um, layers are setting. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I'm going to make the sunshine embeds for this soap. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and create the sunshine for this soap. So the way that I'm going to do that is fill this little ice cube tray. Now these are typically used to make ice cubes for water bottles, but I use it for melt and pour soap. So I'm going to fill up these little cavities with yellow melt and pour soap and then I'm gonna line them up in my mold to create one long sunshine rod.
Okay, so now we're just adding in the yellow uh, mica powder. My yellow mica powder is from Nurture Soap Supply. Um, Nurture Soap is actually all where I got all of these colorants. They really do like their, their micas. They're always true. They don't morph in cold process soap and they are just, um, they don't morph or bleed in cold process soap and they just are nice, concentrated, vibrant colors. So I really do like, like them a lot and they're very easy to mix up. All right, so we are just gonna pour the yellow melting pour soap right into the cavities. Okay. Now we're just gonna let all of our melt and pour soap set up. And when this is setting up, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my soap base. And then I'll bring you by, right back when we're ready to make the soap. All right, so I went ahead and I took the rainbow out of the mold and we're gonna cut this into long um, columns, the whole thing. And this is about uh, a half inch in thickness. And it's roughly, roughly three inches across. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and do half inch. I'm going to score this into half inch segments. I'll show you what that looks like. So that's going to leave a little section on the end, but I'm going to show you what, what we do, what we're going to do with that in just a sec. So I have my lines, they're scored. Um, so what I'm going to do is run my ruler down the length of my half inch mark here and I'm just going to score it. Okay. And then I'm going to do that for the rest of the length here. It is now all the way scored and I'm going to go ahead and just cut the columns. So I'm going to go down the length of the score marks. And I'm just going to cut all the way through until I get half inch high by half inch wide rainbow columns. Okay, I've got all my rainbow rods cut. I ended up with six um, one is very skinny, like I anticipated. So I'm going to take the two skinny ones and uh, I'm going to go ahead and create some soap curls. Maybe I'll just do one because I do have some soap curls off to the side um, that I did on another batch. So I'm just cleaning up my um, some of the loose uh, little soap pieces here. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to make the soap curls. Now the soap curls are gonna go on top of the loaf of soap. Um, so this is what I'm gonna do. I've got my potato peeler. It's the flat kind that you can kind of drag across. So I'm just gonna slowly go to about halfway here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut right here. I'm gonna leave my potato peeler there. I'm gonna take a pencil. This is so pretty, is that not so pretty? So I'm going to take a pencil and I'm just going to curl this strip around the pencil. You could use a chopstick, um, whatever you like. And then I'm going to get, I'm going to kind of stretch it over this. And then I'm just going to pull the pencil out and there you have it. A beautiful rainbow swirl. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that till I run out of um, space to use my potato peeler. It 
doesn't have to be perfect, you know, but see, they're all gonna look a little bit differently. Some are gonna be tighter than others. I'm gonna set that aside. I got all the soap curls made, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let them set over there. And I'll be spritzing them with rubbing alcohol in just a minute to kind of get them to dry out and set in that shape. And then in the meantime, I'm gonna be pulling out the little sunshine out of the ice cube tray mold. I haven't used this in a while. I forgot what the best method is here. I think I'm just gonna start pushing out this way. So I can get enough, maybe take my pencil and help me push that along the way. There we go. Okay, one. These are not the easiest to get out. In fact, when I put the pencil in that one, it kind of poked a hole in it. So we're gonna do our best to kind of make sure that doesn't happen again, because I don't know how many extra I have. I'm gonna grab a paper towel so I can grip onto that sun a little bit better. There we go. Okay. Two out. Out. The little sunshines are not easy to get out of the um, ice cube tray. So what I've done is I've just trimmed off the little rough edges here and I've made the length um, just long enough to fit across the length of this five pound mold. There we go. And it looks like we're ready to now make the soap. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and mix up our oils and our butters and our lion water solution. Now I will be sharing this entire recipe on my Patreon page, um, but to go ahead and give you some idea of what's going into it, it's mango butter, canola oil, olive oil, castor oil, palm oil, and coconut oil. Just getting those bubbles out of there. And this is a new stick blender to me. I have it on the very lowest setting because it's got a bunch of different speed settings on it. So we're just gonna go ahead and combine our water and lye solution directly into the oils and butters. Okay, so I'm just bringing this to a um, light trace and I'm going to go ahead and add in the color and the fragrance. Now for this design I'm just doing a white soap base and the decorations will be the rainbows and the sunshine. So I'm just going to go ahead and add in my titanium dioxide. It's dispersed in water. Just want the soap to be really white. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my fragrance oil. Now today I'm using um, a green apple explosion and that's by Nature's Garden. It smells just like a green Jolly Rancher. And I thought it was just a nice, bright, happy fragrance, uh, a green apple um, Jolly Rancher, a nice, happy fragrance for this, this soap. And I've used this fragrance before. It really does stick really nicely in cold process soap. We're gonna stick 
plastic one just a little bit more. Okay. That should be good. Uh, my embeds are going to be a little bit heavy, so I do want them to suspend in the soap, the white soap, and not sink straight to the bottom. So I've got a medium kind of trace going on. I'm just going to layer the bottom like this. And then um, kind of shimmy it out, get it straight. Then I'm going to take one of the rainbow rods and I'm going to go ahead and place it red on the bottom all the way down here in this corner. And I'm going to take another one and this time I'm going to put the purple on the bottom and the red on top and I'm just going to place it right here in this corner. And it's kind of tilted, but I think that's going to be pretty cute, actually. So I'm going to leave it like that. And give this a stir. Now, this trace is really good because it's thin enough to pour that it's going to cover all those little gaps from the embeds. But it's not too thick that it's going to disturb anything. So I'm going to go ahead and just pour in another little layer here. Shimmy it out. And then I'm going to put another one of the soap rods directly in the middle because I'm going to put my sunshine over here. So I'm going to put it red side up. Then I'm going to put this one right here, purple side up. And I'm going to go ahead and put my sunshines in. Now, you, I made five pounds of soap, but I'm definitely not going to need all five pounds of soap because the embeds do take up a little bit of that weight. That's no good. I don't want the... seems to be... There we go. I'm trying to line up the little ends here so that there's no so that the seams are clean. There we go. I don't want soap squishing up between the seams. So I'm just sliding the soap down. It would be easier with just a column, I think, that was long enough to um, go all the way across, but I don't have one. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this to fit. Okay. Bring that right about there. That other piece I had was a little too small. There we go. That fits. And then I'm just going to go ahead and pour The rest of the soap, I'm going to spritz this with rubbing alcohol. And then I'm going to pour a little bit more soap over the top. Now again, I'm going to have to pour the additional soap because I certainly don't need all five pounds. And as you can see, it is thickening up a little bit here. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour it on top, see where we're at. Okay, you have to kind of be careful not to overfill at this point. That actually might be just about right because we are going to put those rainbow curls on top. Okay, it looks like it's going to be able to take a little bit more soap here, so I'll just carefully spoon it on there. A little bit here and it needs a little bit more here and I'm going to spread it out.
Okay, I may need just a little bit more. Let's see where I'm at here. Okay, maybe just a little bit more right here. Okay, looks like all the gaps are filled in nicely now. So then the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and I'm gonna sprinkle the top with a little bit of this beautiful, I'm gonna take my glove off. My hands are very clean, I'm sorry. I'm just, my hands are very fatigued right now and it's hard to use gloved hands when you're doing this fine detail. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put on this beautiful blue, it's called Bikini Bottom Bio Glitter and it's from this fairy. And I'm just gonna glitter it, the top of it. It's a very beautiful, very beautiful color. This was all in the original color palette, the blue and the yellow, um, when I was coming up with the design for this soap. So this is very pretty, really, really nice glitter. I didn't wanna glitter my embeds my little soap curls. So I wanted to put the glitter down first. Okay. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and add in my rainbow soap curls. Now I made a couple batches of these, so there should be plenty to go across the top because these will break when you cut them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start randomly placing them in. I think they're really cute. But the idea is to just cover the top. This is just such a bright, happy smell. It matches the design really nicely. I love that these are in different um, sized curls and different thicknesses kind of adds to the, the variance and the interest. There we go, that one fits perfectly right there. Um, let's see, I may need to get some scissors and cut some of these down. I'm going to go ahead and spritz this with 91% rubbing alcohol. And there you have it. That's the making of Walking on Sunshine Cold Process Soap with Melt and Pour Embeds. Please stay tuned for the cutting. All right, everybody, we're back to go ahead and cut this Walking on Sunshine soap. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like on the inside. I'm just gonna trim off a little edge piece here. If you're wondering about this cutter, it is made specifically for melt and pour, although you can do cold process soap um, inside it but it's made specifically for melt and pour soap. And since I had a lot of melt and pour embeds in this soap, I decided I would go ahead and um, use it so I didn't damage the soap. All right, let's go ahead and get that first piece cut. Oh, that's so cute. It just looks adorable. I love it. it. Smells really good too. Isn't that cute? So this um, soap cutter is made by a company called Maple Leaf Soap. 
and they are um, on Etsy. So I'll go ahead and leave a link to where you can purchase the soap mold. I've been very happy with the cold process soap cutting um, that it has done. So some of these soap curls are going to get, you know, munched no matter what you do. So you just have to kind of clean it up a little bit. And... Super cute. Go ahead and cut one more. And there you have it, everybody. That's the making and the cutting of Walking on Sunshine Cold Process Soap. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. Catch you on the next video.